<laughs> I've always wanted to like have the microphone lowered from the ceiling like those announcers at boxing matches. <laughs> Wait, let me try that one more time. Nice. Welcome. Welcome everybody to this special episode on my channel where we do self portraits. <laughs> Repping my root shirt. Go Canada! I'm not from Canada. I know that this pandemic has been putting a lot of weight on everybody's shoulders, and I know that everybody's sat down and panicking from the news, but today I just want to deliver you some joy, deliver you some life through this video. We're gonna do three rounds of self-portraits. Three, three. First one, edgy and moody. I love that kind of stuff because it comes from the heart, baby. It comes from the heart. Second one, we're gonna mess with colors, blues, yellows, reds, all that stuff. I got some backdrops that I can work with and some clothes that I can work with, so that'll be cool. Third round is gonna be using some props. We'll use saran wrap, we'll use some other things. Things that I find in the fridge, maybe a jar of mayonnaise to make things a little crazy. So that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. Hopefully you guys can enjoy this and get your spirits up, and hopefully this energy is not too much for you whenever you're watching this. But I just wanna spread some love, spread some joy, and have some fun just doing things that you can even do in your own house get creative with your indoor portraits whether you are a photographer or not you can spruce up your instagram and throw it up and just show everybody that you're having a great old time just you know chilling in bed or just chilling in the living room doing whatever you want okay but anyways let's begin round one edginess everybody uh i'm trying to rush right now because there's a shot right there uh, that i want to shoot for this like edgy part so i'm just gonna put this phone down uh, here's my camera setup. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this right. Ooh. Maybe you won't. I don't know. I'm gonna set the focus point. Oh, the sound's going away. Um, I think it's important to shoot with a deep depth of field, like maybe like F5 or F4.5. Timer's on. Oh! Oh! Does that whole metal look hell stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, since I took an initial photo, I have more time to discuss what I'm, you know, trying to do. Just trying to recreate um, an emotional struggle and tension during this time, just to like kind of display what it's like being like quarantined or like how some people can feel like if they're trapped inside, you know. Uh, so just trying to shoot this right here, this beautiful scene. This is my setup. Yeah. The uh, EOSR on the 35 millimeter. I'll give you guys a room of the tour later. Or what? I'll give you guys a tour of the room later and. Uh, that real quick and let's do this. Oh man, racing against this kind of weather is kind of rough. The clouds are coming in and out. Light becomes harsh and it becomes too soft. I guess I could always edit it. I think I, I think I actually prefer if the light was harsher. That would make it a little easier or that would fit my aesthetic more. But it's okay. Soft is good, and I can always bump up the contrast. So, yeah. Well, I won't be needing this mic. So, the gear drawer. Look at that. Essential cleaning wipe. Sun came out a little bit again, so let's try one more time. I want to make sure that this uh, bed setup is very messy to add to the tension in the scene. Because if it was too neat, then it would kind of clash. Kind of thing so just trying to make sure that the scene matches the mood that i'm going for mm, photography yeah oh. all right so next up we're going to use this piece of kit it's an nd filter adapter for the eos r and what's cool about it right in the thing what ND filter is, is a dark piece of glass, so let's look at that lamp, and then if you look right there, it blocks out a lot of that light. So it's perfect for using for long exposures, especially during the daytime. This piece of kit is pretty nice because I don't have to attach an ND filter in front of the glass. Instead, it'll go in between the glass and the sensor, and it gives a really clean output. So we're gonna slap this onto the 35. I'm gonna go to town on it. Mm -hmm. 
I'm now looking at these photos and oh my god, they look terrible. And that concludes round one, edginess and moodiness. Now I have a comment from the crowd from when I put this up on my Instagram story. If you're not following me on Instagram, please follow at who's Chris Chu. Comment from one of my friends who saw what I was doing with my self portraits in round one. And she said, LOL, they look like cooler versions of stock photos of sad people. Thank you for that comment from the crowd. If you have anything necessary to say, please send my way. If you have anything nefarious or malicious, Please send my way. Now we're on to round two, colors. All right, round two is colors. Uh, we're going to unlock the third backdrop in my room, which is uh, this light blue one up there. I haven't shown it in any of the videos yet, but now I have a reason to. Um, and then I have a bunch of like yellow and gold color clothing here. And if you can't tell, my favorite color is blue. How did you guess? Uh, we're going to get that rolling. I don't really know what kind of poses I'm gonna be doing with this, so. I have, a, I have a feeling that's gonna be unintentionally edgy. I don't know why, it's just it's just me. Ugh. We're gonna be using the uh, Aperture Light Dome, the uh, 120D, and we're gonna be turning off that light so that there's no uh, mixture in color temperatures. I just want a very white light. Maybe I'll open up the blinds on my room. So yeah, let's get that going. All right, and there you are. The uh, blue background you never saw. All right, so I ended up putting the light dome right above the camera. So that's pretty cool. You see right there, that's, that's me. That's me right there. So we're gonna shoot this. We're gonna throw on some yellow clothes. Make this a very colorful thing. We're gonna have some fun. Colors, round two, baby, let's go. Dang it. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that this drops right when the shutter goes off. Cell timer's hard. Oh, I think I got it. It looks so dumb. Let's try it one more time. Let's try to get one more good one. Oh, I think I got it. First try? Hey! <laughs> Oh, you idiot. You look so dumb. <laughs> so I have this yellow, really yellow coach jacket. It's very like loose. The, probably the loosest material that I have right now in terms of everything that I have. So I'll probably just drape this over my head. I don't know. Make it look like a yellow curtain over my head. I don't know. We'll see. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh! That looks so cool. Whoa. <laughs> that looks so cool. All right, it seems like all the clothes keep falling in front of my face. So I'm gonna try to throw it like this right beside me to keep it in the plane of focus. Do you like my hat by the way? Sports. Have you ever had some photo shoots that anything that you kind of take is just a banger? Blue and yellow. It's one of those things. Whoa, that's like a crazy convergence. Oh, but my face looks so stupid. <laughs> but when does my face ever not look stupid? All right, last one for sure. Let's get one last good one. All right, my eyes always just look so stupid, but we got it done. Color challenge complete. And that concludes round two. Thank you for participating in seeing me mismatch colors, playing with all those colors that I can't even see with my own eyes since I'm colorblind. Now on to round three. So this is what we got. We got saran wrap. We got two bananas. We got foil. We got this reflector. I don't really know what I'm going to use with that. And, um, oh wait. Boom. Mayonnaise. Just kidding. I'm really not going to use that. That's disgusting. All right, I'm thinking for this part, we're going to bring the black background down. I think that's uh, the move. First up is saran wrap. I'm just going to hold a thin sheet across my face or right in front of the lens and uh, we'll see what that looks like. You must be curious about what I'm gonna be using with these bananas. I actually really don't know. 
So as you can see here, if I throw up the plastic wrap right in front of the lens, you can't really tell, or hmm, in that example you can, but if I spread it out, you can't really tell that it's in front of it. Back here you can because there's light shining on it, but right up here you can't. So I'm going to use the Aperture MC to shine a light on the piece of plastic so that you can tell, and we'll see how that works. don't know exactly what I'm going to do with foil. The first like instinct is to wrap it around the lens so you kind of get like a tunnel vision of like metal, shiny metal around. I don't know like what and what else can I do like punch a hole through it and see. Wait a second that's a that's a really good idea. Punch a hole through it. Mm. Stupid. All right, now it's time to use these. Uh, I'm, oh, I think I'll just throw these up in the air. <laughs> Banana phone. Oh. Oh, I was just holding it. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> wow, what does it mean? What does it all mean? Okay. That's it. <laughs> I'm like, my mind is starting to burn out from all these ideas. That's it for round three and props. Hopefully you guys can come up with better ideas than me. And that concludes round three. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope that it lifted your spirits and hopefully you would want to participate in some self-portraits. I know I didn't really teach anything. This is more of a fun thing kind of thing. But let me know in the comments below if you want me to keep doing this. I will keep doing this no matter what you think. But there will be a second video coming up of more creative self-portraits because I can't fit them all in this video. So if you do participate in this activity, please tag my IG account at who's Chris Chu, and I will be reviewing some of them. If they're really interesting, I'll feature them in the next video. That would be really cool, right? Thank you all for tuning in. Stay safe. Have fun indoors. Take some self-portraits, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.